Hi guys. <coughs> so uh, a lot of you guys were requesting a video about uh, Korea versus Japan student life. So I just decided to make the video uh, and maybe help uh, some of you out there. Uh, if you're currently choosing between uh, Korea and Japan to go in exchange to make your decision or to apply for masters, anything. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, I did my exchange in South Korea in Korea University uh, back in 2016 and I was studying uh, in Keio University Business School in 2018. So basically the first part is student life. So what I want to say is uh, like if you go to Asia um to japan korea maybe singapore as well hong kong uh your student life will be just amazing so if you're currently choosing between asia and europe fuck it just go to asia asia is honestly like the best place to go on exchange because it's very different it's um it's very different and um very different so both schools korea keio uh, have a lot of uh, this like things called clubs or circles societies for different kind of activities for example uh, Korea University there is archery club so you can go to archery there is bowling club calligraphy calligraphy class and actually the same goes for Keio so in Keio for example like one of the coolest clubs I think there is is uh, actually a hide-and-seek club so if you join them they play hide-and-seek on campus um, like every Friday, uh, it's like the, the campuses, by the way, both campuses like Japan, Korea are massive, like really, really huge. A tea ceremony as well, manga, uh, manga club where you can actually draw manga, a kimono club, so like a lot, basically, a lot, a lot. Just, just trust me. So um, yeah, so in this case, like it's kind of similar, both schools are very rich in terms of activities they organize. Uh, in uh, Korea, for example, there is this event which is called Ypsilanti. Uh, it's a campus festival. Uh, if you watched my previous videos, you might have seen uh, I filmed. I actually filmed Ypsilanti. It's a huge event uh, which every like KU student takes part in. It's uh, everybody's wearing red. It's a lot of like famous K-pop bands coming. Like for example, last time uh, they. Um, invited Sai to come uh, I think Blackpink also came I'm not sure about that but like literally a lot of a lot of really famous K-pop uh, like uh, K-pop singers also in KU there is this uh, huge like really big thing happening uh, I also filmed it uh, it's called Koyon Jon so basically Koyon is means Korea Yon Yonsei so it's basically two schools which are competing against each other it's like a huge celebration and Koreans like you know Koreans like they know how to Party. so Koreans really go crazy like literally all stadium like everybody's cheering and if you haven't seen my previous videos like please go and watch because those guys are really savage so like student life in KU is honestly the best ever like I've ever seen anywhere like undoubtedly uh, so for uh, for like KU University, for example, we have this uh, event which is called Mita Festival. It's like annual festival. I think it's uh, it's like just once a year, but uh, it's a festival when uh, like all clubs, circles, like dancing circle, manga circle, um, ikebana circle, coffee circle, they all prepare like booths and they uh, showcase like uh, you know what they have learned for example there is like um, a group they're doing k-pop dancing and they're amazing i loved it so much When I actually saw them uh, during Mita Festival, I was super sad that I didn't join them uh, earlier because, I mean, of course, like, you know, K-pop is the thing. Also, there is uh, baseball games against our rival Vasada University. So actually, like, uh, Keio, uh, like, Keio Vasada baseball games, pretty similar to Koyon John. Japanese cheerleaders are the scariest cheerleaders ever. <laughs> Oh, 
like those guys they just like you know they're literally like robots they're being like super like super concentrated and super like i don't know like crazy it's crazy energy like honestly like really scary <laughs> Like, I'm very scared of Japanese army because like if um, yeah like if their cheerleaders are like that it's like crazy so I think that honestly like in this like uh, kind of student life Korea versus Keio Korea University wins for me because it's more it's much more like activities and a kind of um, ways how you can interact with uh, like um, so many students from all departments and it's it's much more engaging i think although like both schools are amazing so uh, another thing uh, is uh, like body system so when i went to korea we had this amazing uh organization called kuba which means a uh, korea university body assistant it's like a real real like big i don't know it's not a circle it's a club uh where they have a president they have vice president they have managers groups so when you come to korea university you actually have your uh, group assigned for example i was number four so we like our name was forces uh it was freaking amazing i loved it and kuba is really cool because uh we had uh like weekly uh, dinner on thursday we had a weekly lunch on tuesday and we also had like weekly activity on saturday so we would go somewhere all together and then we would go for dinner afterwards so kuba teaches you amazing thing which is like so first of all like there are two things you learn with kuba you meet so many uh koreans who are eager to get to know you better like uh they want to interact they want to build friendships with foreigners so it's great for for like meeting new people second of all they teach you how to drink because honestly guys like i never ever tried alcohol uh which yeah i know it's weird because i'm russian but i literally never tried alcohol before coming to korea like in koreans they just go crazy savage on drinking um so you know by now i'm like literally a pro at drinking games i know so many drinking games every round so we usually we used to like switch places so we go one location then another location another location and then like finally you just like end up everybody is super drunk you end up in noriban which is karaoke and then you sing like and it's super cheap it's very cheap like i can't even compare like prices in korea versus prices in japan it's just like you can't compare that and uh, every time like uh, you go out you get like you you get like really 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 drunk but it's so much fun it's honestly the best parties i've ever been to uh versus uh in uh, japan in keio we had a body uh, system i think it's called tomodachi tomodachi is a um, friend in japanese it's nice but it's not like as active as scuba i think overall there were like like four or maybe three activities organized like uh during all semester i think that korean culture drinking culture is really big so it's more kind of uniting you know so i think that in korea meetings with buddies were much more fun than in japan in japan it was not that big and people were skipping it so there was no sense of like you know group because in korea what they also did like buddies we had this uh thing called membership training which actually sounds very academic so in each group there were like 20 students i think overall and we rent a cottage house i think it cost me like 25 dollars so one membership training is 25 dollars so it's it's good price and you basically go to a cottage house which they kuba members find and rent and um, you have so much samgyeopsal so a lot of meat and a lot of rice and a lot of soju and basically you come there you party you drink i remember we played like zombie games so it's a lot of fun we did like this uh, whisper challenge so it was it was honestly it was so much fun like it's very very uniting culture uh in japan we didn't have that also in korea uh, we also had this competition between uh, groups. It's like um, 
a competition running sports in uh, I think dodgeball um, running like sprint uh, something else like <laughs> I actually was participating really actively during my first semester in Korea but second I was like filming I was like more of a like spiritual you know like spirit of the team so in Japan no there is nothing like this like there is none none competitions between groups there are no not even like groups you know or there are but like it's not that like community kind of uh, you know based or like that like high spirit so I would say that in terms of student life Korea is much better because on, on actually like another very very important thing is that Japanese students they don't speak as good English as Korean students uh, so it's kind of um, and also Japanese students are very shy so it's very difficult it's not very difficult to make friends but it's not as easy as in Korea because Koreans are much more open and Koreans travel my, like way more than Japanese people and uh, I've heard that Japanese would rather go if they have vacations they would rather go to Okinawa or like somewhere in Japan because for them Japan is the safest place the best place to go to and Koreans they travel like they go to boarding school in US and Canada then making friends so uh, making friends is number like three question I like I was asked like how hard uh, it was making friends of course it's easier in Korea because uh, more people speak English you know even if Koreans say oh I'm sorry like uh, not to me my sense like even if Koreans tell you I'm sorry I don't speak Korean bullshit like they speak I mean like uh, English bullshit they speak English like they're they're really good at English um, Japanese are more like you know I actually I had this crazy thing I was on subway and I got lost and I uh, like I wanted to ask for like the right exit to take and I asked uh, a, a woman and I was like excuse me uh, do you know like which exit I should take to get to this like point and she literally just like you know she looked at me and then she literally like turns like you know away and just walks away and I'm like what the hell was this Japan so yeah it was a weird experience and it happened to me like twice but there are always people like working on stations so you can always ask them they will help you and you know the thing is that Japanese people are like the most polite people I've ever met on this planet even like so if you ask for help and like that like that was an exception I think or the, the the woman just was she just probably couldn't speak English so she didn't want to lose her face because that's very important for Japanese people as well they don't want to lose their face so maybe if I ask her like sumimasen so like I would show that I at least try to speak Japanese she would be more kind and she would be like chotto like I'm not sure I don't um, usually they don't do this like usually people are very polite like if you ask them for help they will literally like like they will find if they don't understand you if they don't know like how to help you they will find the person and then they will all like you know kind of like talk and discuss like how they can solve the issue so people are very 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 polite because got like mm, my nose hurts in Korea it's a lot of like pressure in terms of beauty standards uh, I remember this case like once I came to my class and uh, I wasn't wear wearing my makeup and uh, my uh, like girl, my classmate, she was sitting next to me, and she looked at me. And she's like, "Mary, you look so like so bad today. Are you sick?" And I was like, "No, I'm just not wearing my makeup, girl." So literally, you know, um, yeah, damn it, I probably should wear it like you know on a daily basis, maybe uh, in Korea. So yeah, so in this sense, like Korea is more like pressure in terms of beauty like you know if you gain weight Koreans are more straight about this so they can actually tell you well like you you got you gain weight uh, and it's considered to be as it's not bad like to say this it's like they care about you so they tell you that like you should be more like you know you should eat less because like you're gaining weight so you know bro also um, I think I got like a lot of diff like weird comments uh, when I was in Korea like a lot of people told me wow like your, your skin is so white or like wow you have double eyelid and I was like what is double eyelid bro so some of my like classmates also if for example 
uh, like she was not wearing makeup one day she's Korean she literally was like wearing a mask just to cover her face because she has no she had no makeup that day in Japan it's way more chilled like people don't they don't do whitening creams they don't do that like they don't do surgeries so it's more diversity in terms of faces you know so if you ask me what I prefer Korea or Japan <sighs> it's so hard <laughs> but honestly I think um because I came back to Korea right like in 2018 uh, I, I flew from Tokyo to Seoul and uh, I, I started crying on my plane yeah I know I'm such a drama queen but honestly like Seoul is like home for me it's very very like you know nice cozy and Tokyo is just amazing it just blows your mind there are so many weirdest like sickest things about Tokyo which I never expected and when I came I was like whoa like whoa is this real and it's just mind-blowing so um, yeah it just depends on like I guess what you are expecting from exchange so maybe if I was looking for crazy parties like crazy lifestyle like huge you know city because like if I compare Seoul to Tokyo of course Tokyo is so much bigger uh, I would choose Tokyo but if I would be maybe coming to Asia first time uh, I would go for Korea because it's super local it's nice people speak English it's like it's super cool and I'm coming to Korea like soon so so guys, thank you so much for watching um, and I'm sorry for not posting anything for such a long time. So many things happened to me. I'm now in Amsterdam, as I've mentioned. I'm working here for a while um, and um, who knows like where life brings me next. But anyways, keep uh, stay updated and if you have any questions about Korea, Japan or like, I don't know, basically anything just please leave comments down below i will reply and maybe i will just like uh, take some questions as a part of the or like as a new video to film uh, for the next time so anyways have a great day i love you and um yeah like please keep exploring keep um keep doing things keep traveling traveling is changing you it's amazing and yeah just just stay happy that's the most important thing in the end Goodbye.